Another round just for you. Coping. Coping mechanisms and why. We all cope with everything. Every day you're coping with something. Most people are like, I'm not coping with anything. Like, nobody died or anything like that or nothing tragic happened. The tragedy didn't have to happen for you to be coping with a situation. Most of us are coping with our jobs. Um, like, give you an example. So, you get home from work. Gotta have that beer. Gotta have that beer. Oh, man, that's what I've been missing all day. Why? Man, it's a stressful day at work. You know, she told me relax. Okay. And I get it. You get home from work. You're doing your whatever you do, your, if you're a business owner or whatever, whatever you do to take care of what you need to take care of, you that's kind of wrapped up for the day. And now you're like, you know, let me let me relax. Let me take a load off. Get that. No problem. Now, if that's all it's for, it's all it's for. You know, you have a couple and everything like that. But if it was just if every day it's a necessity to get through the day, you're coping. It's not a celebration. There's plenty of people that get home from work and have a drink. It's a celebratory drink. Ah, my day is over. It was a great day. Let me have my little celebratory drink. Be a better day tomorrow. Most of us get home like, oh man, I'm glad I'm home from work. Let me get this drink in me. Let me have this smoke. Let me do whatever it is I do. You know, you're coping. I mean, that's 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 how I see it. Because I do the same things. I got habits. I got good habits. Got a couple of bad habits. We all got good habits and bad habits. We don't need to get into what those are, but we all got habits. So, but why is it a stressful day? Is it stressful because you didn't get that sale? Is it stressful because you hate your job, but it pays the bills? Um, and does it help you get past it? And what I mean by that is, I'm going to go to scenario, just for example, speaking, you do sales, you do sales, get home and you basically have, you basically go through about a six pack a day. What's the reason? Some people just really like taste of beer and that's their thing. And they're satisfied and content with their life. But if that's the case, they're not coping. They're celebrating. There's a difference. When you get home and you complain and it was just a horrible day and this, this, and that, and this, this, and that, and that happens every day, 90% of the time, your drink is not a celebratory drink. Your drink is a coping mechanism. Some people get home and they'll go, they'll go hit the gym and they have a great body, but I got it for all the wrong reasons. <laughs> you know, like it's a coping mechanism. And some people just do it like that's their stress relief. And it's kind of it's kind of hard to say it's wrong, because that is, you know, if you go to the gym, that's your stress relief. But plenty of people overtrain. But most of our stress reliefs are not healthy habits. Or usually, if you do it when we're only stressed out, it's usually not a healthy habit. But why was it a why was it a bad day? That's your real issue on what you're actually coping with. Are you coping with the fact that I'm not where I want to be, which is what most of us are probably coping with. In my mind, I see myself further than where I actually am. So when I go to work and I go through this monotonous grind that I really don't want to do, and then I get home. It's just so mentally exhausting because I, 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 I did something for 10 hours I didn't I never wanted to do to begin with. But it gives me money. You're just mentally exhausted at that point in time. But like I said in a previous video, you're not motivated. You're coping. You're coping with being stuck in that situation. You want to get to point B, but you're in point A and you don't know how to build a bridge. Well, never, let me rephrase it. There isn't a bridge built. You have to build it. So you can either cope or you can build the bridge. One of the two. You just can't do them both at the same time. Like say you can only do one thing at a time. Now, once you have it in your mind that I am going to build this bridge and you decide to, your coping mechanism now becomes a celebratory mechanism because now you get home from work and now you're focused on doing something else to build that bridge. 
It's just what it is. It's more or less perspective, you know, which I'll probably go over that in another video perspective because perspective means everything is perspective. Everything is more or less. How do you see it? And changing your perspective is hard. But usually your perspective, a lot of times is influenced by what you're coping with and how. Most of us, there ain't no way out of this. Are you doing anything healthy to get out of it? Probably not. I got bad habits. So I'm not preaching to the choir here. Well, actually, I guess I kind of am. But I'm not the, caught, the pot calling the kettle black. Like, I'm swimming in the same pool with y'all doing the same laps. I'm probably behind y'all in this aspect. You know? <laughs> this is a marathon. I'm not good at marathons. I'm a sprinter. But, yeah, you got to figure out and just, and it's more of a gut check. Because, you know, most people go through life and you get caught up in that, that hamster wheel. I say it a lot. You get caught up in that cycle and you don't look at things from the outside looking in. You look at things from the inside looking out, which is what most of us do. Every now and then you got to step outside of you and look at you third person, you know? So like one thing I've really been doing is instead of doing my normal, my normal stress leaving routines, it was like, you know what, Ryan, you have a goal you want to attain, get home, relax, change clothes, woo and go to work. When I go to my job, that's, that's my job. I don't even consider that work. Like in my mind, that's like, it's like going to school. It's just what I have to do to get my grades up. <laughs> you know, it's just what I have to do. When I come home, that's when I get to go to work. Because I get to go to work on me. I get to go to build stuff. I get to go do whatever I need to do. Um, when you were in school, I mean, we had fun in school and everything like that. But when you got out of school, it was like, all right, now it's time. What are we going to do? I'm done with class. Anybody who plays sports was athletics. It's like, okay, athletics is done. School, woo. And you'd be beat down. You know, if you ever play sports, you know, you'd be tired a lot. But you still did you after that. You know, we got to do the same things in life as we get out of those stages, which is something that I got to practice on a lot. I struggle with that a lot. But it's becoming more routine. You know, and we'll get on that, you know, routines and habits. We'll build habits on that. So we'll begin with a routine. So try to keep them, you know, under 10 minutes as always. Uh, once again, questions, comments, please. Well, questions, concerns, please leave them in the comments. Um, I should probably script these more, but then I feel like they wouldn't be authentic. So for now, I'm just going to wing it. Um, and I might start doing these live because videos take up a fair amount of space and I don't. Anybody, if anybody knows that, do live videos take up space on your phone? I haven't looked into it. So, till next time, just for you.